Hello, how you guys? Welcome to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. So today we gonna help you deal with the problem. If you have a problem with your tire pressure sensor, that's always lit up. And after you replace all the sensor from the tire and it's still lit up, so you might have this problem right here. Uh, let me show you. Let me try to get this angle right. So basically it's, um, it's under this piece right here. You can use a pry bar or a little pry, plastic pry piece to pry it out. Or you can do it with your hand. Just make sure you take it easy. Because this thing is fragile. There you go. There you go. Okay, now we got it. Uh, okay, so you took this out. And as you see right here, I'm not sure you can see it, it's right here. Right here. It's uh, the antenna. The antenna for the tire pressure center sensor. And then on top of that, there's a little, uh, I think it's 10 millimeter screw. You just need to unscrew that. To take that piece out but let me show you uh, what it looks like right here so if you bought this from the dealer it's kind of cost you a couple of hundred I think it's two or three hundred dollars so what you want to do is you want to go to eBay and get it uh, it's a lot cheaper eBay is about if you bought got a used one it's about um, 30 to 40 dollars but if you're lucky, you can get about 20 bucks. So here it is. This little piece right here. And for the Toyota Sienna, is that part number right there. 8, uh, 8976908030. So this is the one right here. So basically, when you get in there, there's a little screw right here. Or a little nut right here. You just need to un... Uh, do that and you can take it out and replace it so uh, let me try to get that out and uh, we can go on I haven't get my tool yet so I'm gonna go and grab my tool right now and uh, we can go and get that out So I'll be right back with a tool. Yeah, I got some tool. This is very tight space. So this is what you need. You need one of those thin uh, wrench. And then uh, you need a long uh, 10 millimeter. And then also a long extension to take those out. This is the only way. It's very tight space. So take that screw out sorry if my hand is in the way and basically that's when you need to take it out yep it's extremely frustrated when you have, you don't have a lot of space. And you gotta be careful, okay? Don't drop the screw in there. Or the, the nut. Okay. I got the nut out. Let me pull this back. I'll take the nut out 
first. Here's your, here's the nut. Now the bracket's loose. And I can take that out. Oh, there you go. There you go. As you can see. Yep. Seemed like an easy job, but sometimes not really that easy. Yep. So here's the old one. And this is the one I just bought. So this one is at cow one and this is cow two. But the same part number and everything. As you can see. Same plug. So I'll go ahead and remove this plug. Need anymore. Uh, I'll take out this tag. Take out this tag. If I can. Uh, I'm gonna sit. There you go. Now I install this new one in. So the bracket and everything should be exactly the same. So install this new one in, and it should be good. So put the bracket in, same way that you take it out. Okay, I got that down. Let me get the screw in there. So I got the screw, sorry my hand is in the way. Let's see if all this might feel. Okay, now back to the grind. Let's go ahead and tie this up. Okay, got that tied up really good. There you go. Remember this tool right here, right? Yep. And then now we plug this back in. This plug. Like I said, you do this, most of this by feel. in you hear the click that's me it's in there you go that's the click all right so let me put all this stuff back okay so since I'm not sure if you know this but since you changed the module the receiver so if you change the receiver, you need to enter the new uh, ID in it. Okay. So you need a scan tool that you can scan your register the new ID in. 
So I will go ahead and use this scan tool and register the new ID in. Um, let's go back. I hope you can see this. It's kind of glare a little bit. Hopefully you can see it. So register new ID. Okay, let me register the new ID, which is uh, because I bought this used, so the the receiver still have the old ID from the the car that they pulled it out from. So now you need to get the new I get your car ID, the tire pressure sensor ID, and register it. So I'll go ahead and register that. Okay, and then okay. And next, yeah, so, so we got five minutes to do this. Next, okay. So the first one, okay. The first one is gonna be A A D C four C four D E E two. D E E two, so A D C four D E E two. Okay, I got that done. Then you go to the next one. Next one is gonna be A E A E seven A E seven E. A E seven E six five D two six six five D two six five D two six five D two. Okay, next one. Okay, the next one is gonna be A B four D A B four D. A B four D F one O two F one O two A B four D F one O two good so the next one and the last one last one is gonna be A two five A two five E A two five E B six B F 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 Okay. Sorry the camera is kinda of way off because I was paying attention to writing this down. Okay, that's the end of that. And uh, waiting to let's register the last one. And it's complete. It's right here. Register complete. Register ID complete. Okay, so when you're done, you go ahead and put exit. And I'll go ahead and check the signal again. Now I'll go back. Go back, go live data. So now you got all of them in here. As you can see. Okay, now all you need to do is... Okay, now we just need to do is... Um, wait a little bit so I got number three is uh, good we just waiting for the other uh, three see it started going uh, it started get it so one pop up two pop up three pop up now we're just waiting for the first one first one pop up and we should be done usually if you want to trigger um, the tire pressure sensor, you just drive around for a little bit 
and it should trigger it. See, he got all the signal, as you can see. Got all of them. All of them got it. Now it's done. Okay, now we can get this uh, off. And then you turn on the engine. Your, um, excuse me, sorry about that. Now you turn on your engine. And so your lights should turn on. As you can see, no more. So that should be good. So sorry it took so long with all the, um, with all the pause. But uh, that's how you replace your receiver or they call antenna for your tire pressure sensor. So I hope you find it useful for this video and I will see you guys on our next video. Alright? Alright, bye.